Greetings to all our IMAPS clients and investors. Let me walk you through the latest changes to the IMAPS fixed income portfolio made during the first week of April. 2024 kick off sunny and breezy with global equity markets delivering positive returns and interest rate levels fairly stable. The mild weather drivers were resilient U.S. economic growth, improving or stabilizing growth outside of the U.S., easing financial conditions, and the broadening of the AI technology trade beyond the Magnificent Seven. The second quarter still promises fair weather and relatively calm seas, although some clouds are forming on the horizon. The Fed may not be able to deliver expected cuts or, alternatively, the economy may deteriorate against expectations. In other words, the market is priced for a Goldilocks environment where the Fed is able to cut rates substantially, the economy avoids a recession, and disinflation continues and remains benign. That is a tough needle to thread for an extended period of time. Monetary policy must be finely tuned to achieve it. Most credit metrics keep worsening versus recent history. And momentum-driven stocks outperformance may be getting a stretch. Finally, geopolitical uncertainty seems to be here to stay, not anticipating any significant solutions to the conflicts that persist around the world. Given this prevailing context, the portfolio is positioned neutral from a strategic and tactical point of view when it comes to asset allocation, regional allocation, credit exposure, and sector selection. Instead, our focus this quarter has been centered around security selection. Managers' symbiotic features were optimized to deliver higher model efficiency while building shock absorbers at the security level. We have increased positive convexity in the fixed income slips, added callable preferred shares, and modified U.S. Treasuries allocations to mitigate interest rate sensitivity. Alpha sources, such as securitization, underwriting, underwriting, market making, were diversified to insulate the portfolio from issuer-specific risk. The portfolio exhibits a well-balanced key rate duration exposure, combining not only instruments with the same duration of the benchmark, but also shorter and longer duration assets. Given the conservative nature of the portfolio, bullet or barbell-like strategies were avoided to reduce portfolio sensitivity to specific yield curve maturities. Finally, at all levels of the portfolio, complementary active managers were introduced, for, in for instance, in high-yield bonds, emerging market debt. The, the goal was not to diversify risk away but rather to preserve constant factor exposure while augmenting bottom-up portfolio construction. We hope you are well, and as always, please reach out to your financial advisor or investment professional with any questions you may have. Thank you. Insignia Financial Group LLC comprises a number of operating businesses engaged in the offering of brokerage and advisory products and services in various jurisdictions, principally in Latin America. Brokerage products and services are offered through Insignia International Financial Services LLC, headquartered in Puerto Rico, and through Insignia Securities LLC, headquartered in Miami. Both are members of the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, FINRA, and Securities Investors Protection Corporation, CIPIC. Investment advisory products and services are offered through Insignia Advisory Services, LLC, an investment advisor registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. In Uruguay, advisory services are offered through Insignia International Asesores de Inversión Uruguay, SA, Insignia Asesores de Inversión LATAM, SRL, and Insignia Asesores de Inversión de Uruguay, SRL, in Argentina, and through Insignia Argentina, SAU, and in Chile through Insignia Asesorías Financieras, SPA. Collectively, these eight operating businesses make up the Insignio Financial Group. To learn more about the broker-dealers, including their conflicts of interest and compensation practices, please go to https colon forward slash forward slash insignio.com 
forward slash disclosures forward slash or via www.finra.org. To learn about the Signal Advisory Services and any conflicts related to its advisory services, please see its form ADV and brochure, which can be found at, in at Investment Public Advisor Public Disclosures website, https colon forward slash forward slash advisorinfo.sec.gov forward slash.